folks, um, another figure hits the workbench. And this morning we have the Spanish Carla now. No one expected the Spanish Inquisition. Does that age me? Do people know what that means? Probably not. <laughs> if I recall, it's Monty Python, isn't it? Anyway, that's me wittering on. I probably haven't had enough coffee this morning. Um, Spanish general looks really posy, leaning back with his sword drawn. Um, actually, he has a Spanish look about him. Don't know what it is. Looks like he's on a British horse, is he? Possibly. British nag. Anyway, I'll get stuck in. Do the usual um, brown wash, and then I'll have a look and see what horse colour I want to do today. I'm getting a bit bored with that marron brown ink. All the horses look the same, mind you. A lot of horses do look brown, don't they? So but, um, we'll work out a colour. I'll get that sorted, um, undercoated, the horse done, inked, uh, or washed, and come back to you. Okay, Monsieur Le Spanish, Colonel, has had his base coat and the horse has been done. Now I've tried something different on the horse. Obviously the horse was painted in my normal brown mucky wash. I then edited, I even added a red tone army paint to quick shade. I then added mid brown army paint to quick shade over top of the red tone and we get this rather rich red brown horse which I like I think it looks very horsey very very horsey indeed so I'm happy with that now another one I'm copying from the Perry's website which shows a white uniform and a light blue bib red sash so very colourful uh, I think yep this is going to be it so that's what I'm going to go for um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure what I paint first. <laughs> could be the red, it could be the blue, who knows. Uh, I may even just do her horse furniture. But uh, I will paint something. And then when it's painted, I will come back to you and show you what I've done. Okay. Right, I'm getting carried away. I wasn't sure which colour to go with, so I blocked red. Uh, which is the sash and the plume and I've blocked the cream for the white coat and I've blocked the blue for the turnbacks and the bib and the collar so it's really now going to be building on the shade on that and then I think it's, I'm leaving the breeches in this um, sort of leathery I suppose leathery colour, buff colour, yeah they'll be that sort of colour I think they'll be fine um, it's quite a bit of black and then it's silver trim but anyway, I'll get the other shades on. Um, shade the red, the blue, and the cream coat. And I'll get back to you when I've got that done. Right, that's the uh, shading work done. The red's had three shades. The blue's had two, and the white's had three shades. So we're now up to, I think as I said before, it's gonna be the black next. And then silver, there's a lot of silver on this. So I think black, and then silver. Okay, I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, okay, so as you can see, a lot of black, a lot of black painted on, um, on the horse and on the rider. Um, and we're again, near in the ending stage. It looks from the photo on the Perry side that silver, 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 silver there. Got silver stirrups, silver spurs, and then obviously silver on the horse for the metal work. Uh, silver on the breast, or I might put gold on that just to vary a bit. And then I'm gonna put a wrap around the horse's tail, as it's a tied up tail and finish the face and we've even got a silver clasp on the plume on the hat and i've got to check the ends and i match over the bike on i match in the silver as well um, yep once then the face so we've got silver just about everywhere and the uh, pistol holders again silver uh, the 
we then got the face and hair to do and he will be finished so uh, remarkably quick again another nice nice figure but very simple to paint very very yeah uh, yeah rewarding <laughs> rewarding it's a good word anyway I'll get the silver and uh, probably the face and everything done I'm gonna be then at the almost at the finishing stage okay I'll report back when I've uh, completed those tasks okay that's it we're finished um, I can't find any more <laughs> missing bits and pieces I'm sure I will but uh, we're done now um, I'm going to put the flesh wash on on the various bases um, and then I'm going to base up the figure so uh, next time I will show you the completed figure uh, with the basing as you can see it does look rather spiffy I think on the back there um, I may highlight some of the black with uh, uh, a London grey I'm not too sure I'll see how I feel I may do that but I can do that after I've flesh washed or uh, um, stained and then matte varnished. So, okay, I'll come back to you then uh, to show you the finishing stage. Right, here we are. He is finished. El Spanio. <laughs> El Colonel. Yeah, all done, based up uh, as my other Spanish figures. Uh, bit more uh, burnt grass or arid grass so it's not quite as green some rocks uh, painted him up as normal uh, matte varnish I'm most impressed with my horse actually because it was just a trial and error as I say that was red wash and flesh wash um, I think that's quite nice maybe just me but there you go I think he's nice so anyway, let's finish that little project. I'll do a few uh, stills to put on the end of this. But uh, for now, thanks a lot and bye for now.